Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this tower pinwheel card. It folds flat to fit inside a standard envelope, but when it opens out, it becomes a tower and a pinwheel, and it has four different versions of the same card. It's a bit like, this is a card that has no end. So it just goes round and round a centre column. So without further ado, even though it looks quite complicated, it's surprisingly easy to make. So let me show you the ingredients that we need. First part is a piece of cardstock, which is four and a quarter by 11. And normally we would score that at five and a half and fold it over. This is actually cut into four separate pieces, four and a quarter by two and three quarters. And that makes the main fins of the card. The next part we need are some basic white which is a smaller layer down so it's four by two and a half and we need three of those and the fourth one is actually just a piece of designer series paper again it's four by two and a half so three basic white ones and a piece of the designer series paper and then these panels are four by one and a half and there are four of them and then the all important piece is the tower part in the middle and as you can see it's got the matching designer series paper up the middle of it so this is a piece that is four and a half by four and a quarter and it's scored at every inch so when we go and we burnish them it looks to all intents and purposes that we're building it inside out but what we need to remember is all of these pieces are going to get covered and it's the piece down the inside that needs to match. So we'll go ahead and run some adhesive. Oh, no, that's not that one. We'll run some adhesive down there and then it just, just give it a quick burnish, make sure it's all even, otherwise it'll all be like, gnarly and then it won't look so good so this is the main body and as you can see it's got the designer series paper down the middle and that's what makes the tower that everything spins around so what we need to do is decorate the three white pieces and what we're going to do is we're going to be using the paper is the joy of christmas which matches the christmas classic stamps and dies they're all in the same suite in the holiday mini catalogue. So I am going to start with the deck the holes page and we will get some real red and stamp. Deck the holes in the middle, easy peasy. Then what we need to do is use the fern stamp and stamp some pine leaves around. So I'm going to be using the shaded spruce and the granny apple green just to get some depth. But the shaded spruce tends to be quite a strong dominant. I know it's a flavour, colour. So what we need to do is just stamp it off before we put it onto cardstock. So it looks a little bit less aggressive. And then we'll give that a good clean and we'll bring in the granny apple green ink pad and we'll put some lighter green elements around just to sort of give it some depth this one doesn't really need to be stamped off because it's a much lighter ink color but we'll just go ahead and put some around so it looks quite nice and busy. So that's the first one done. Flip it over and it is the designer series paper. So we'll line them up, up here. The next one is the Peace on Earth stamp. So we'll get Peace on Earth and we'll pop that into the middle. And then what we would do is we would take the shaded spruce and the holly leaves, stamp it onto some granny apple green and using the dies, run it through the die cutting machine 
but of course thanks to the power of youtube and blue peter and all that good stuff here are some that i already did just to save us having to wait for that process to be taken care of so i'm just gonna quickly stick the holly leaves in their corners and then put the berries on and i'm just going to use little dots of the liquid adhesive because i find that works the best when you're trying to just get oh, I mean, did I say minimal amount here? Yeah, well, making a liar out of my own self. Let's just pop that on there. So. Pop the berries on. Yeah. drying I will get out the other little stamp so I did a card recently and I found this little corner piece I didn't even know it was in the stamp set originally and I thought oh you are so interesting and now I use it all over the place just because I think it fills in blank little corners so nicely so that's a little corner piece done and then fold it one more time and then we've got Merry Christmas, Happy Christmas. British people tend to say Happy Christmas more than Merry Christmas. It's quite a famous Beatles song, isn't it? So the Christmas in real red and the Happy in the Granny Apple Green. One of the nice things about the acrylic stamps the polymer stamps going on an acrylic block is that you can actually build up phrases and I tried to build this once but it because of the edging of the stamps it was too far away so it's I um, did two separate stamps as you just saw and then I thought well if I'm going to do two separate ones I'll do two separate colors and it just makes it nice and easy and a little bit more colorful so let's get these onto their reds get assembling the whole thing so once you've got your fins built it's just a case of putting everything in place and like I say it's not terribly difficult to make this card I thought it was really it's really quite a simple process considering how effective it looks so there's a little signature panel so here we go quick assembly so we'll bring back in the box and then what you need to do is put adhesive down one side up to the score line so just I don't know if you can see that in the light just only on one of the sides so let's follow the pattern as it goes around so we just put it up against the score line and match the top and the bottom and press it into place and then we'll go round one and now we're going to put adhesive on here and we'll do deck the holes so again just up to the edge and now you can see how it doesn't matter oops that we built the tower sort of inside out and now we've got an edge we can go ahead and put one of the designer series panels on and then flip it over and this is the panel that's got the designer series it's going to be like double designer series paper on this one so we'll pop that into place and a panel And then last but not least, let's have some peace on earth because that's rather a nice thing I want to wish for, especially right now. So we'll pop 
that into place and pop the panel on and then of course you remember when we did the first one it was only the first panel so there wasn't an extra place i can see i've got just can you see that there's just a little bit of the tower sticking out so we'll just trim that off this was the first panel to go on so of course there wasn't the ones that had been running behind and now there is so we'll go ahead and we'll pop that last panel into place and there you have it the same same card to the same snap so like i say it stands up and it gives you all these different views of the card it folds flat to go in a standard envelope and i think anybody would be happy and pleased to receive that as a card if you like what you've seen please consider subscribing. I like likes, I like comments. If you've got a comment or a question, please pop them in the description box below. Or alternatively, you can email me. Uh, a share is the ultimate compliment because it means you like me enough to want to share it with all your friends and family. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, deck the halls and peace on earth and all those lovely things. And last but not least, thanks so much for watching.